Hey guys, welcome everyone. Today I have another video for you. If you haven't seen before, I had a video before that showed you how to install a VASC, but let's say if there's a situation that you want to go to different antivirus protection, or if a VASC is just having trouble against the performance on your computer. Well, I'll be showing you how to uninstall it real quick. So, first thing you need to do is go ahead and go to Start. And you have variety of selections right here, but you'll see this little button on the left side that says Settings. Go ahead and select it. Once you get to there, you'll see a feature called Apps. Go ahead and select that file. And then you'll be prompted by a big list of different software that's basically installed here. And you'll basically have to look through. And what we found right here is a vest that we're going to uninstall. So you have actually other features that you can basically can modify and repair the antivirus protection or reinstall it, or basically do a reinstallation. But we're going to be showing you how to uninstall it. So let's go ahead and select it. And it'll be asking you again, are you sure it's going to be uninstall? <laughs> and let it do its own work. And here's a prompt for this, asking for permission for this to work. Let's go ahead and press yes. And let it start doing its own work on it. I'm going to go ahead and just minimize this. This is not needed right now. And here it is again telling you if you want to update, repair, or modify. Again, I'm going to choose uninstall for this tutorial. And be sure that you don't have any passwords on stuff like that. Because if you have a password that's built in on a vast free antivirus protection, usually it'll probably need that password to uninstall it. Now technically you can also get a re tool, removal tool for a VAST to get that removed, but it's easier if you already know the password. And here it is again asking if you're sure you want to uninstall it, and yes I am. They have a few questions right here asking if they want to help. Are you uninstalling a VAST for a good reason or reinstalling it? I'm just uninstalling it. They're going to ask a few other questions. You actually don't even have to do anything. I'm just going to go ahead and select them. I'm going to go ahead and say that I needed to fix a problem. How long have you ever been using a vest? I've actually, believe it or not, have used this before um, within a, about a year's worth. I'm just going to go ahead and press send survey. And let it continue doing its uninstalling the product. And look right here, it tells us on the right side that there's no virus protection. Technically, we still have one. We have the action center for Windows Defender. It'll probably be kicked on in a bit after this part gets removed. Let's go ahead and let it do its own work. And here it tells us that we can restart the computer now or restart later. Let me go ahead and just restart it and see. Windows is basically already reloading, starting up to be sure on the boot menu and stuff like that. Let's, let's see if it finishes done right now. And here's Windows 10 loading up on the user's account. It's already logging in. Let's give it a little bit of time.
And here we have it. It seems that it's basically already loaded up. Um, let's check real quick. Do we have Avast showing? No, we do not. Avast isn't showing on here. Let's go ahead and check underneath the settings and see if Avast is still installed there. So, here settings loading up. I'm going to go ahead and select apps. And let's scroll down and see if we don't see Avast. And it seems that Avast is actually not in here, so we look like we're clear. And that's basically it. Avast has been removed from this computer. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair. Don't forget to subscribe us here. Click on to check out our other social networks. And can't wait to see you on another video.